Welcome to today's class and today we'll be starting our next topic document release procedure. So the topics that we'll be covering today they are describe the function and steps in release procedure, release or requisition in purchase orders and customizing setting for release strategies. So before we start we'll start with a business example that where we'll be using this part. So suppose in your company you wish that purchase requisition items that exceeds a certain value have to be approved by various individuals or departments before the requested material can be ordered. So in simple words, in my company they asked me that whenever there is a purchase requisition is created, there should be some approval process. If somebody in the, in the shop floor, supervisor or someone, they are creating a requisition for a requirement, it should be approved from their boss or someone. All right. And there can be another example, you also want to ensure that the purchase orders that exceeds a certain value are approved before a message can be issued. That means, they, you may be asked that in the case of purchase orders, if the purchase order value, the total value of the purchase order exceeds a certain value. For example, if the purchase order value is greater than say $1000, then it should be blocked. It should be approved by the big boss, then only it can be printed or we can send the output. You want to use the electronic release procedure to do this. Okay, so we can do this in SAP MM and um, it's an electronic release procedure and we don't require to like uh, there's no manual signing of documents or anything like that. Everything will be electronically and system will keep a record of everything uh, that has been done or that is supposed to be done. So I'll show you the practicals in a minute. Now, if you want to see the same scenario in a real-time term, so for example, you can see this uh, example here. Um, let's fix the spelling. Okay. So, suppose in my company, uh, the requirement is if the purchasing document, when there is a say, purchase order, if the, if the value of the, the total value of the purchase order is say less than thousand dollars, okay then we want to approve it by some individuals and if it is greater than 1000 we want to be approved by the, the top level people. Okay, so say first of all say the value is less than 1000. So first it should be approved by the supervisor on the shop floor and then once supervisor has approved this one then it should be approved by the line manager and then once the line manager has approved this one then finally it should be approved by the plant manager. Alright, so that's one example for any document value less than 1000. Second, other part is if the document value, if the purchase order value is between 1000 and 5000, then same three steps we want, but this time we want this one to be approved by the, because this is the higher cost, we want the first person approval should be line manager. Second, per, second person uh, who should be approving it should be the plant manager. Third person should be the account manager. And finally, if any purchasing document whose value is greater than $5,000, then in that case, we want to approve it first by the plant manager, then account manager, and finally by the director of the company. Right. So exactly the same strategy I'll be customizing in today's class and I will show you that how it is easy it is to customize this exactly same scenario. So before we start the customizing, let's see some theory side of this one and then we'll start some customizing. So release procedure for purchase requisition. Now the release procedure not only can be, we can apply it for purchase orders, we can also apply it for purchase requisition, we can also apply it for contracts, we can also apply it for um, scheduling agreement, we can also apply it for RFQ, request for quotation. So it doesn't matter wherever you want to apply these strategies, the customizing steps remains exactly same, no difference. Now let's, let us start some theory part first. We will see what are the difference between uh, the functionality when we use up the release procedure in requisition or order and then we'll move on. So release procedure for purchase requisition. So in requisition, basically as uh, we discussed earlier, 
that um, we want to have a release procedure. So here you can see we have a we somebody created a purchase requisition and as you know we we convert a purchase requisition to a purchase order but which is a conversion part but in this case we want to add a thing called approval that means if if I created in in my company if I created the purchase requisition it should no, no one should be able to create it to a purchase order unless it is approved by the by the purchasing manager or whoever is authorized to approve it okay it should be approved then only we can start the following function like creating a purchase order or whatever is required now with regards to purchase requisition we have two types of approval basically um, here you can see that um, you have a thing called uh, we a thing called uh, full release full release that means either we can at item level we can release individual item that means if say in the purchase equation we have three items okay item number 10 20 and 30 okay so each item should be approved individually okay and finally then finally a purchase order can be created or whatever is the next process like for the first two items the purchase order should be created for the last item number 30 the RFQ should be created okay but the initial step is approval so each individual line item will be approved first and then the next step will start or the other way is we want to uh, release it at header level so header level is like we don't care how many items are there there can be one item there can be three items there can be ten items header level approval is just like once you approve at header level all the items will be automatically released okay so this is your header level so here you can see we have three items here and we approved at a header level that means doesn't matter one item or ten items all the items will be approved and the next follow-on process will start so so this this functionality is only available in purchase requisition okay the at either you want to release it at item level or you want to release it at header level and in other purchase orders and other documents we only have one option which is this one at header level is only available so technically speaking in, in SAP MM language this is called there are two steps to do this one so the same functionality you can call it with without classification and with classification when I say without classification without classification is the first one that one where you need individual release that's the without classification so here you can see with this procedure purchase regulation can only be released at item level only account assignment category material group plan and value characteristics are available in release criteria that means you release here at item level but there's a restriction here okay so restriction is that only we can release it when there is a using these four fields okay these fields are account assignment category material group plant and value of the purchase equation okay so i'll explain in a minute other method is <clears throat> with classification so this procedure enables you to release purchase equation at header level only every field of the purchase equation can be used as a criteria for release okay so in this case we can release at header level header level and we have a lot of fields that we can choose upon to uh, to uh, to specify the strategy to specify the criteria for release okay so when i say strategy uh, characteristics okay or what characteristics we can use to release so i mean that let me write it down here so say in my company i've shown you first example here that uh, this one okay this one is based upon the value okay value so value is one factor which is fine I can say PO value is one factor it can be said dollar thousand or dollar two thousand or something like that there, there are some other factors we need to consider as well okay these factors are purchase order value definitely yes and other things can be company code okay when this is a company code these people will be responsible